Hello, today we are going to be proving the tetrahedron. The ancient philosopher Plato said that if you take four equilateral triangles, they form a tetrahedron. Another way to form a tetrahedron is you take four vertices and connect them with six edges that have the same length. So notice that you can see the four equilateral triangles, but how do I know for sure that these four triangles are really equilateral? A skilled arguer can say that they look equilateral, but I'm not going to take your word for it. You have to prove to me that this is true. But how do we go about doing such a thing? Is it even possible? Well, Euclid published the book more than 2000 years ago on geometry, and in this book contains the proof of the tetrahedron. Euclid's proof comes in two parts. First is the construction and then the proof. In a previous video, I went over the details of the construction, and in this video, we will focus on the proof. The important thing to note about this construction is that we do have a pyramid where the edges meet exactly at the vertices. Therefore, we need to prove that the edges of the pyramids are all of equal lengths. So, with the construction completed, let me point out that triangle DFG is equilateral. So this means that all sides of the triangle are equal lengths. So if we take a look at this circle, the radii are equal lengths, so AC is equal to CK. And if we take a look at this circle, the three radii are equal lengths. Line CK is perpendicular to the triangle plane, therefore it forms right angles with the plane. As a result, these two triangles are congruent by the side angle side theorem. So we can say that AD is equal to DK. Also, these two other triangles are also congruent. Therefore, AD is equal to GK. And these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, AD is equal to FK. So what we have so far is DK FK, GK, and AD are all equal. These sides represent the top of the tetrahedron. Finally, if we construct this circle, the radius AD is equal to DG. And DG, DF, and FG represents the sides of the triangle plane. So AD is equal to the sides of the equilateral triangle, and it is also equal to the remaining sides of the tetrahedron. Therefore, all sides are the same length. So Plato is correct that the tetrahedron consists of four equilateral triangles and, as a result, the tetrahedron does exist. 